Prego, prego, my friends, come and join me in this tour about the most adventure people in the world. Of course, I'm talking about Italians. Did you know that over 5 million Italians call somewhere outside of Italy home? That's incredible, it's about the same population of Milan, Naples and Turin combined. Now you should say that's amore for adventure. I am part of that generation of Italian who calls home some city outside of Italy. In this case, I live in Amsterdam. A very funny thing about Italians who move abroad is that even if you move to cities like Amsterdam, I will show you that moving abroad doesn't mean that you will not find Italy also in cities like this one. I'm in the center of Amsterdam and let's go now to have lunch in a place that I really feel like I'm back in Italy when I go to eat there, which is called Zero Zero. Considering the line you have to do to get the food, I believe Italians are not the only ones who like Italian food. It is not the first time I come to check this place, but I've never taken a picante, which is with nduia calabrese and salame picante, both from my region, which is Calabria. Let's taste and see whether it is good as the others I tried. best thing I like of this uh, schiacciata is the bread, it's crispy, chewy on the inside, it's just perfect, but also the ingredients, it's super super full of tasteful true Italian ingredients. This is exactly what I mean when I say that it's true that we live outside of Italy, but we still can find Italy everywhere in the world. Listen to the sound that it makes when you bite it. Super good. I have only two words I can say after eating this bread. Mamma mia! Now someone can say that Italians are creature of comfort. We love our sunshine, we love our espresso and we love of course la nostra famiglia. But Sometimes a little wanderlust takes hold and the next thing you know is that you are packing your mom's secret pasta recipe and you're hopping on a plane to nowhere. Now after the proper lunch we had it's time to move to another very important thing Italians do during the day, coffee after lunch. And please note coffee doesn't mean cappuccino, Italians would never drink cappuccino after lunch. Why so? Because we think that milk is heavy and drinking it after lunch with a cappuccino would screw up our digestion and because we care a lot about our food and we care about digesting it in the proper way so that's the secret why we don't drink cappuccino after 11 a.m. but to be honest it's not after 11 a.m. it's after lunch. I must admit that I'm not aware of any good Italian cafeteria here in Amsterdam, but I googled it and they suggested to go to Cafe Il Momento, so let's go and find it out whether you can find also good espresso or ristretto here in Amsterdam. I haven't trusted the 
Piccolo or Cortado so I went for a standard espresso but I'm happy because at the end my channel is the espresso channel so it's the right thing to do let's just try the espresso it's good I have to say it's uh, one of the best I had in Amsterdam maybe even the best but of course for an Italian who lives abroad paying 2 euro 50 for an espresso it's really pain in your heart I must say the espresso was very good and about this I have to say another thing there is a false meat in Italy that if you ask for an espresso abroad the taste is different I actually don't see that really happening a lot it happens just sometimes and in general I think the only thing we should complain about above all if you live in this city so in Amsterdam but probably also in other cities like Amsterdam is the price how can you make a person pay 2 euro 50 for just a drop of coffee that's too much a few minutes later listen cari amici what we can say is that we Italians are nothing but resourceful even if we do not always speak the language of the place where we live like in my case I do not speak Dutch we always find ways to solve our issues and be comfortable in the place we move. Did you know that a recent survey discovered that 98% of Italians abroad bring with them their own espresso machine? We cannot say anything else but that we take coffee and espresso seriously, no matter where we go. It's a little bit like the other people bringing with them the toothbrush, but we bring with us the coffee machine. Probably you find it weird, but for us, this is perfectly normal. Unfortunately, I'm not different. Like every other Italian, I brought with me also my old mocha pot. And I brought with me more than two years ago when I moved here in Amsterdam, and she's still with me. And I have to say, we Italians don't want to take the risk of not finding a proper mocha when we move to a new country, even if we know that Bialetti or any other brand is sold in the country where we move. So just to sleep tight and avoid any nightmare, we bring with us the old mocha and we are happy with this. So the next time you see Italians abroad, don't think they are just tourists. They are ambassadors of La Dolce Vita. They bring with them joy and they could even share with you secrets about their family recipes. Let's face it, the world needs a little bit of Italian style. We bring with us a lot of passion and above all, the love for good food to every corner of this globe. And who never knows, maybe we could share with you one or two secrets about how to make a great coffee with uh, a rusty mocha pot. But a whole lot of amore.